Good morning everyone and barring any technical issues welcome to what will hopefully be the first of many streams as part of Cog Girls Great Big Eorzean Odyssey. I'd also like to say a happy Goblinization Day to all of my nerd friends out there. If you're one of the 1 in 10 who Shadowrun told us would turn into an orc, troll or goblin on the 30th of April 2021, then congratulations on your new green form and I am incredibly jealous. If you're one of the 9 in 10 like myself, then commiserations. Let's just keep living out our adventures vicariously. I'm going to be streaming Final Fantasy XIV online over the next week. That's from Monday the 3rd of May until Friday the 7th of May. As part of uh, an effort to raise funds for two campaigns that are running at the moment. The Switch Off Game On campaign for Mind and the Ready Player B campaign for Bernardos. Both of these campaigns are trying to raise awareness and funds for mental health care provision and support for individuals who are undergoing difficulties in that area. As we all know this year has been challenging for everyone but it's been especially challenging for those of us who struggle with poor mental health due to a combination of isolation, increased anxiety and disruption to an awful lot of the face-to-face -face services that people have come to rely on. I myself have struggled with mental health issues for a very long time and throughout all of that online gaming, first in Warcraft, then Guild Wars 2, then Star Wars The Old Republic, then World of Warcraft again and finally recently on Final Fantasy has been my happy place and has helped me keep my head above water. So if I can give something back by doing what I enjoy, then that's really just a win all round, isn't it? I'm going to be starting a new playthrough for the purposes of this stream. And... As part of that, I thought it would be fun to let my viewers decide my fate in terms of my character's race and my character's starting class. So this video is just going to run through the options that are available for you to pick from. And uh, you can go to the poll, which is located at bit.ly forward slash coggirlpoll. That's bit.ly forward slash cog with a capital C, girl with a capital G, poll with a capital P, and decide what I'm going to be doing for the next week. Uh, I'll be starting in Gridania, which is one of the three city-states in the game. It's the origin story I've not played through yet, so that should probably make for the most interesting viewing experience for you all. It does limit the class choices a little, but you'll still have some options to pick from. Starting with the races, we have the Hyur, they are the human equivalent, and there's not really an awful lot to say about them. They're humans, if you want me to be a human, pick Hyur. Elizabeth are the elves of the setting, they are tall and elegant with pointed ears. And at the other extreme, we have the Lalafell, who are little potato people. So if you want to see me play an adorable little hobbit, this is the option to pick. Next up, the Mikote, who are probably the most iconic of the Final Fantasy XIV races. Uh, they are cat people with pointed ears and long tails. Fittingly for Goblinization Day, we have the Rogadin, who are the closest the setting has to uh, orcs or half orcs. They are big and buff. Mm. 
Next up, the Aura, I think I'm saying that right, possibly the Aura, are uh, a uh, dragon-like race with horns, scales, and scaly tails. Next up we have the Hrothgar, who are a uh, lion people. You can only play as a male Hrothgar and they are big and buff. And finally we have the Viera, uh, they are bunny girls. So have a think about what you'd like to see me play out of those options and uh, stick your vote on the poll. The other choice to make is the starting class, so pop it back on here for the moment just so that we can go through for that. So you also get to pick your character's birth date, which doesn't really change anything as far as I'm aware, and their guardian deity. Um, we'll go through those in a little bit more detail when I do the character creation video. And finally we come to the starting class. Now the three options for the city-state of Gridania are the Lancer. Lancer is a DPS class that grows up to become a Dragoon. They use pole arms, they jump around a lot, and they're relatively infamous for dying in every AoE ever. Alternatively, we have the Archer. Uh, they're also DPS, but they're ranged DPS. They attack things using bows and arrows. They grow up to become bards who buff the party using songs. Or if you'd rather see me play a caster, we have the Kundra. Kundras grow up to be white mages. They are healers and they use the power of nature. So those are your options. Um, lots of choices to make to go to the poll and decide what I'm going to be. The poll will be running until 8 o'clock British Summer Time on Sunday, um, at which point I will find out what my fate is and get my character set up ready for Monday. We'll probably stream that when it comes to it. And uh, that's more or less it for the time being. Um, I look forward to finding out what the results of the poll are going to be and to streaming my various Eorzean adventures next week and hopefully raising some money for two excellent causes. That is the Switch Off to Game On campaign for Mind and Ready Player B for Bernardo's. And until then, I'll see you all soon. Bye.